Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Friday, October 21st, 2016. And he's at it again. Scott from Nibiru Planet X 2016 with his latest steaming pile of fear porn. In this video, the Death Star. What is this plant with a hole in it? Plant? <laughs> I think he means planet. Anyway, we'll let him off a typo. So, last night, Scott and I were on a very long Skype conversation, and I thought we were actually making some progress, but it seems that every time I think that Scott is just starting to see the light, and starting to see the error of his ways, he disappoints me. So it's pretty clear that this is the way that Scott is going to go, isn't it? So let's have a look at some of the shots in this video that he's looking at. This is the, the plant with a hole in it, or the planet with a hole in it. Now Scott sent me a number of images last night on Skype, and I went through each one and I said, yep, I know what that is, that's an out-of-focus star. And then he'd send me another one, and i say, yep, that's another one too, I've seen these before. In fact, I've even simulated this myself. And I've got videos on my YouTube channel to prove it. And I'll show you those in a minute. I went through those videos with Scott. We stepped through them and we looked at all the weird and wonderful, strange things that we could see in my video. So I'll come to that in a minute. But let's step through with this plant with a hole in it. We get all these weird and wonderful looking things. And this is what happens. Here's a good example. This is what happens when you don't know how to use a telescope or a camera and you start filming stars in the sky. Or maybe you do know how to use a telescope and a camera and you deliberately defocus it to be deceiving so that you can upload videos and send images around the internet and say, Look, I filmed Nibiru. Look, I filmed the Death Star. Look, I filmed a plant with a hole in it. So let's go over and have a look at the playlist of videos on my channel. This is a public playlist, but the videos are actually unlisted because I made these videos to demonstrate to somebody uh, what they were seeing when they were seeing a, a star twinkling in the sky that they thought was some strange UFO or something. So what we're talking about is called atmospheric scintillation. That's caused by the Turbulence of the atmosphere causing the light from the star to refract. And we're going to have a look at this image called Antares, 28th of October 2013. That's when I uploaded it. We're talking about three years ago. So this is the star Antares when I first started filming it. And the atmosphere was quite turbulent on that night. So you can see that when I'm um, focused on it, it's actually wobbling around and it's flashing because of the, the atmosphere. This is scintillation. So that was with the camera focused as best I could get it. And then later in the, in the um, video, I actually zoomed the camera in. So let's see what happens when I zoom the camera in. I'm moving the camera around there, just getting the focus control. Now you see what's happening to the star as I defocus the camera and zoom in? We're getting all sorts of colours. I'm going to step through this so that we've got stills here. We've got all these weird effects. Now, I've just bought myself a Nikon P900 camera, which has got the 83 times optical zoom. And I've got a lovely clear sky at the moment, and it's just before sunset. I'm going to go out with that camera later, and I'm going to zoom in on some bright stars, and I'm going to defocus that camera. And I'm going to get some nice planets with holes in them. Well, they might not have holes in them because maybe the lens is cleaner than the camera that took that other image that Scott had in his video. But you can see as I step through my video that we get all sorts of weird and wonderful effects in different colors just from defocusing the camera. Let me play that real time again. 
This is the star Antares, which is in the constellation of Scorpio. It's a very bright red star, really stands out. And uh, I mean, you can try this with a pair of binoculars. If, if you own a pair of binoculars, have a look at Antares. Defocus binoculars, see how it looks. I'll put a link in the description area so that you can go to this video and check it out for yourself. You can see that I did upload it on October 28th, 2013. So that is three years ago now. So apparently Nibiru Planet X, or the plant with a hole in it, has been around for at least three years. Let me just change the speed on the playback on this to quarter speed. And uh, that might just help us to see those still frames that I was trying to pull through when I was stepping through manually before. So you can imagine that if I took cropped images of these, zoomed right in, but you know, as still images, these would look pretty bizarre, wouldn't they? So it is just a star zoomed in with the camera defocused. That's all it is. Now these don't match the ones exactly in Scott's image because obviously it was with a different camera, different lens and so on. But I am going to go out later with the P900 with the 83 times optical zoom and we'll see what sort of results I can get on that. So there we go folks. That's the Death Star, the plant with a hole in it. And it looks like Scott is going to continue on with this fear-mongering nonsense and telling lies. And how can you tell when Scott is telling lies? His lips are moving. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.